you're watching Midland Public Library's final Math Minute video. My name is Jennifer Whipp and I'm the Maker Place Coordinator here at MPL. For the last two months, I've been coming to you every Friday uh, with two things. First up, a math principle, concept, or piece of foundational knowledge that your child should be learning in their early years. And second, a math activity to help them practice, explore, and learn that math concept. For our final Math Minute video, I want to talk to you about anchor numbers. Anchor numbers are numbers like 5 and 10 that help us to see and understand the relationship between all numbers, especially when we're adding and subtracting. Anchor numbers help us to see smaller numbers inside of larger numbers, how small numbers make up big numbers. Children often use anchor numbers like 5 and 10 to help them figure out math problems because they understand the relationship of 5 and 10 to other numbers in our number system. For example, most of us know that 5 plus 5 equals 10, right? Well, children will use this knowledge to help them figure out math problems that involve the number 5. So for example, if you ask a child to add 5 plus 7, they know that 7 is made up of a group of five and a group of two. So they'll add five plus five plus two to get 12. Basically, children are breaking their numbers into smaller pieces to help them better conceptualize and understand the math problem that they're working with. So why am I telling you about anchor numbers? I'm telling you about anchor numbers because it's important to focus on them when you're working with your children around math and addition and subtraction. Understanding um, their anchor numbers of five and 10 and their relationship to each other and other numbers is gonna help your child a lot when they start school and are working on addition and subtraction in the classroom. To help your child to better understand anchor numbers in their early years, I recommend using what's called an array. Arrays look like this, and they break object sets into anchor numbers like five. As your child learns to subitize and recognize their anchor numbers, they're gonna know that this means five. They'll know that this means seven because it's two more than five. They'll know that this means four because it's one less than five. And they'll know that this means 10 because it's two sets of five, and so on and so on. So, practice counting and organizing sets of objects into arrays with your preschooler. What you're really doing is laying an incredible foundation for addition and subtraction later. Well, this has been the final video of Midland Public Library's Math Minute. Thanks for tuning in every week. Thanks for watching this week. Bye for now, everyone.